Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. Approximately 12.06 in Honolulu, 5.06 in New York on Thursday, 23rd day of December, 2021. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review. We are recording the weekend review one day early in honor of the Christmas holiday season, which will begin tomorrow with Christmas Eve. It seems as though it's getting to feel a lot like Christmas in that we saw broad rallies across multiple asset groups, including the precious metals, U.S. equities, and the cryptocurrency space. Gold futures is currently fixed at $1,810.10, which is a net gain of $7.90 on the day. It did trade to a low just below $1,800, a high of $1,812, and closed just shy of today's intraday high. Silver futures basis the most active March contract, gained approximately $0.09 cents and closed just $0.09 cents shy of $23.00 with it currently fixed at $22.91. The U.S. dollar had a fractional decline today of 0.05%. It is currently fixed at 96.015 and provided fractional tailwinds for both gold and silver today. Gold futures continued off of the rally, which began yesterday with a $16 climb and followed that with an $8 climb today. Most importantly, in terms of our technical levels, we needed to see gold effectively trade and close above $1,800, and that occurred yesterday. Of course, we also talked about the band of resistance between 1800 and 1804. That occurred today because gold opened at that price point, 1805.60, and closed well above that price point, as I said, currently at $1,810. We do have some minor resistance at $1,815. That's based upon a couple of recent tops in the market, but I don't see an issue with a continuation moving up through there. I would look for our first real level of resistance to come in at approximately $1,728, and that is based upon the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. As you know, we are using two data sets in terms of our Fibonacci retracement. The long data set begins back in the beginning of June. Gold was trading at 1920 and then terminates at the lows that came in the first week of August at $1,678 which is where we are deriving the 61% retracement level coming in at $1,828. Above that is $1,833, and that is based upon the shorter data set, which begins on the lows that came in for the November FOMC meeting and covers the entire rally, taking it up to $1,879. And it is that price point, 1879 1880 that we are putting absolute resistance in gold so that if this rally does continue, we could expect to see gold move as high as $1,780 over the first quarter of 2022. As far as silver goes, I also have an optimistic projection for the first quarter of next year. We are currently trading just shy of $23 per ounce, and it has come up to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. We only have one short-term data set that occurs, and that starts at the highs at 25.50, down to these lows at 21.42 which takes us to my projection for the first quarter of next year. And my projection is if the rally continues in silver, as we expect it to in gold, I would look for silver to trade as high as $24 per ounce, and that is based upon the 61.8% Fib retracement of this short data set that we just spoke about. 
And as I say in our opening letter, this has been a difficult year to say the least. For those of you that have experienced hardship or the loss of loved ones, our hearts and prayers go out to you. That being said, we want to extend our wishes for a happy and healthy holiday season and to all of our followers and subscribers as this year quickly comes to an end we wish you the very best in 2022 and as always good trading and good health this has been gary wagner we will talk to you next year with our next report which will be on the third day of january bye-bye